Hey there folks, and I'm back with game two in a best of three between Murder, our Purple Terran, and Huck, our Blue Protoss. If you missed uh, game one, we had Murder taking the game. It was on Metalopolis, and it looks like we decided to go that game again. Uh, Huck deciding to choose this game after losing at Metalopolis. He must like this map. Either way, we had the same positions here. We have cross positions. Murder opted to go a fast uh, marauder push, bringing up two marauders into Huck's uh, base and uh, applying some pressure and then switching to a Banshee marauder build after windling down Huck's pros, although Huck did not go down uh, easily. He put up a great fight, putting on a lot of pressure on Murder and uh, almost forcing a win from what it looked like, but after losing a significant amount of probes, I think it was down to like 60 SCVs to like 37 probes, Murder was able to finally just overcome his opponent with mass marauders, banshees, and marines. And uh, great job to Rose players, but now we, here we are on game two on Metalopolis. Same positions, cross positions, and once again, Huck is at it with this probe of his. Dwindling down, dwindling down, doing some pressure, and Huck's trying to go in for some barrack blockage there. Didn't get it off really well, and uh, Murder's off onto the races, chasing down this probe, and he's going to go and switch off SCVs to avoid losing that one. And once again, Huck is just dancing around here. He gets full shields up on that probe. He's going to start pressuring down this SCV now, and bam, there he goes. He's off running away again once his probe uh, loses all of its shield. And we are having, looks like, the same exact build coming in from Huck. That one gateway, but he does have that uh, Zealot rallied over. So he is going to go this quick Zealot build. His probe harass is coming off and being a lot, lot better here. He's a little sloppy there. He does lose 5 HP, but I mean, look at this. He already has three low SCVs to deal damage to. He has two on this gas, one on the minerals here. And uh, he's being chased down again. And we are going to have a uh, Marine come out rather than a Marauder here. No, he had, decides to switch it up. Doesn't want to go that fast Marine. Decides to get a tech lab. And uh, he's going to start applying pressure to this probe again, but I mean, really, his SCVs are just getting low once again, and he runs away. So, we don't have any Zealots being chrono boosted in. There we go, first Zealot comes out, and it's not being chrono boosted in, so it's going to be a little bit slower to get there. And I think this Marauder is going to be able to deal with it, so he's probably not going to want to send it into the base. Um, We'll see. He has it rallied over there. A lot of low SCVs, so he might be able to do some damage. We'll just time will have to tell. Concussive shell is coming up. I think it might be here before that Zealot even gets here. So I really doubt. Yeah, he decides not to rally it in there. He knows the Marauders are coming, and it's just going to be wise for him not to do so. And we are oh supply blocked just a little bit. He's going to lose about a second on that uh, second Marauder actually. So going to put him a little behind here. We're going to have two Zealots up and out for a uh, Huck rather than a Stalker here. Now a Stalker is being chrono boosted in. Once he realizes this Marauder is going to come with this ramp and do a few quick pop shots onto these Zealots. Concussive Shell is not up yet so this uh, Marauder is going to take a little damage and he's able to do really nothing to the Zealots as that shield is just going to recharge while losing a few HP himself. And our third Marauder is on the way after our second is going to meet up with his buddy. And now we have uh, plenty of units to deal with this push here. Um, without really a scouter unit here, he's going to be forced to run up his marauders up here. These Zealots going to be able to get close enough, and the Stalker will just be able to shoot from overhead. So, I mean, really, if we can see this come down. Uh, Stalker gets off two shots, essentially, before the Marauder can even do anything. And this Marauder is very, very low, while this Zealot basically only took, I think, two, maybe one shot after its shield went down. So... Murder is really not getting anything to accomplish there. Um, he's going to have to start switching up his strategy. He is going for his same exact build here. He's doing that double barracks, a factory, and then he'll throw down a starport. And here we go. We have a small engagement. Uh, two Marauders go down. So basically all three Marauders should go down for a Zealot. And uh, a bit unfortunate there. Didn't really pan out the way I'm sure Murder wanted it to. We already have warp gates up. So Huck is playing this. He adapted very well from the first game, being able to stop that push without losing really anything. Uh, before, in the first game, Huck, I mean, Murdo was able to come up here, take down two Zealots and a probe before losing his three Marauders. So this time around, he only gets one Zealot. Uh, a bit unfortunate. And we actually have a sentry being warped in now. And warp gate tech is finished. Observer being chrono boosted in. 
starport going down. Uh, looks like he's going to switch out the tech lab on that barracks again, and we have another barracks right now. So three barracks, one starport, banshee type build coming in, and there we go. Uh, much better switch this time around. I actually, put that starport next to the barracks rather than over here. Much faster switch time, and um, just waiting on gas. There we go, gas four. The cloak is up, and it seems like murder's a little slow on gas this game. He had the banshee building almost right after that um, cloak started, so I'm kind of curious to see what happened, why he's being a little slower on gas this time around. Looks like he has one too many SCVs on this gas. So we have four SCVs on this gas and only three on this one. Either way though, this Banshee is on its way. Marines are on the way. Really we don't have... Last time around he put a tech lab on this barracks to get uh, Marines and Marauder type build, but this time around he does not. And it looks like Huck is going to come in here and make sure no expo goes down by sealing off this ramp. Uh, Observer's in a great position here. He's going to be able to apply down some pressure. Really, really annoying. Look at that. He's able to reach these units over here on the mineral lines. Wow, that is crazy. I've never really seen that done before. And with this uh, tight choke that Murder has built himself, essentially, Huck's at a great position here to really do some damage. And Murder's going to be forced to try to go down there, but, I mean, really... He's going to be have to watch out. There's more than just stalkers waiting for him down there. So this is a nice little harassment coming in from Huck. Just coming in, popping shots, popping shots, running away, popping more shots. And the supply depots are getting relatively low, but they're getting repaired now. The SCV building that command center died. Um, so he's in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, looks like we have this Banshee up, and it oh does some damage to that pylon before actually going to the probe line. A bit unfortunate. It uh, doesn't look like we have a Zerber overhead though, so this might be some great damage in here from Murder as this uh, Zerber doesn't even run away and we're just going to have some multitasking going on from both players here. I'm really surprised. Yes, the Zerber is being uh, built, not Chrono Boosted though. He has enough for a Chrono Boost, so it's sloppy here. And uh, more and more um, pros are being taken down. As you can see, he's rallying up attack points, rallying up attack points, and just doing some massive damage here to these probes. Um, wow. This is actually a really, really great Banshee harass here. If Murder's able to keep that Banshee alive too, even better. But no, the Banshee does go down, so he's not going to be able to send that one back in. And another Banshee is being queued up. And uh, Murder still has not started rebuilding his command center. He needs to rebuild his command center. He needs to get that advantage. But it looks like um, he should just actually scrap the command center completely. We're having a three-gate uh, robotics facility, and Huck has no plans to build any type of stuff like that. And we're having cloaks coming here. Oh, it's not going to be a great engagement. Once again, all those units are blocked from going back up the ramp, and uh, oh geez, Murder just kind of screwed himself over here. Great job by Huck, being able to seal off that ramp, not letting the units go back up there. I mean, really, he's just going to take down the whole entire army of Huck. Wow. He's going to start needing to bring a lot of units down there to get this repaired. Oh, Bunker's not going to make it, and SCVs are being pulled off the line after such a great Banshee harass here. His SCVs are just going to get annihilated. And it looks like he's going to bring in the rest of his forces there. But, I mean, oh, jeez. He's just losing so, so many SCVs. And after being on top 34 to 24 SCVs, now he's down 17 to 27, folks. And this is just, oh, it's it's going to be a lot, a lot of hurt coming in here. And uh, this command center is going to have to float away. Basically, a lost 400 minerals. It is going to go down from burning, if not repaired. And I believe it will fall. We're having some more engagements here. SCVs are challenging up this uh, stalker immortal army. And now there's just so, so many stalkers. And they're just being able to see up here. And yeah. Uh, Murder's in some massive amount of trouble. And as you can see the command center is going down. And it's trying to be repaired. Here we go. It's being repaired by one unit. But these stalkers are going to come in and pick it off. And no actually they're going for a depot. I would assume they would be going for... He's a uh, command center, but the command center does run away. Depot's taken down. He has a massive amount of depots anyway. It's not like he's hitting close to food cap. We are having at 15 SCVs with 30 probes. Murder's in a terrible, terrible position, being choked up in his base. And Huck's going to go and expand. I mean, why not? He has a great advantage, keeping three stalkers in his base with one observer. And he's going at Twilight Council now. Going to get some speed lots, maybe even Blink, uh, as he's going a very, very heavy stalker army here. Blink would be optimal. And we are still having that observer sit overhead. 
this command center is being repaired by a lot of SCVs and they're actually repairing themselves too getting a bit caught up here they're actually on follow on this one SCV so murder is slipping up once again they, he actually finally figures out that he has a lot of SCVs not doing anything and he actually takes all of his units off of gas oh no it seems murder is getting caught up in the in the excitement here or something because he takes all of his units off of gas which is a big 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 slip up and uh, we have a huge stalker army here lots of marauders to face off against them though and I'm sure we just have more and more units yes we do and I'm um, kind of curious to see what we have coming from this thing we have charge lots coming out and more banshees are coming in more marauders are coming in and SCV gets annihilated pokes his head down there and just gets completely squashed and um, I'm wondering if Murder finally notices that he has nothing on gas here with 20 gas left. Let's see if he's actually going to send some units over to gas. No, he's still waiting, still waiting. He's actually building marines now. Um, looks like he just wants to get caught back on my minerals. He's not even worrying about gas right now. He's just like, I'm going to build as many marauders as I can, then just do uh, keep going pure um, marines until then. And it looks like this mule is actually, this is closer for him, so he's going there. Uh, he's using both command centers to call down mules, which is a pretty smart idea. I mean, really, he has no way of def def defending this expansion if it does fly over there. I mean, he could try to fly it over here and actually, like, try to make something of it. But right now, he's just spamming SEVs from both. And uh, he's caught up in minerals quite nicely. I mean, it's not terrible. It looks like he's going to go for a exchange here, but there's just so, so many units waiting for them. Stim comes off, uh, those charge lots come in, and I bet this ramp is going to get sealed off in any second now. And uh, he might as well have kept those SCVs down to help out. And these immortals are taking all the marauder shots, and they're just doing really, really well here. The stalkers are going to do some nice damage here, but it looks like murder might be okay here. Um... Yeah, he's actually going to survive this, so great job by him, but there's actually another force of stalkers just waiting. And yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. He's not going to be able to survive this for very much longer. Uh, energy runs out on cloak, doesn't matter anyway. Two observers are in the area, and now a lot of SCVs are about to be picked off. Oh, he stims at the... Oh, jeez. So murder stims and takes off ten more health off of his units, and it was pretty pointless now because... Huck just goes ahead and backs off. He knows he has a huge advantage. We're sitting at 35 probes at 22 SCVs. And uh, Murder's staying in this game, but on the skins of his teeth here, he's able to fend off that push. But I mean, really, he's sitting very, very low food, and uh, he's just not keeping up the units he should be. And here goes Huck with another pressure. Oh, he gets some units into that bunker there, but, I mean, charge lots are coming in. He's not getting any SCVs out to repair, and it's just smashed. Bunker's decimated, and uh, now we have some SCVs coming out, and it seems like a repeat of last game, except Huck now is the aggressor, taking out SCVs from this expo, and uh, Murderer's trying to run around and gets his units in that bunker once again, and um, goes in and cloaks his Banshee, but that observer is sitting right next to it, not doing much, and uh, once again, it looks like Murderer might be able to hold this off. Yes, he is going to hold this off, but at the cost of all of his SCVs at this expo. He's sitting at S. 17 SCVs now to 41 probes. So once again, this is like a repeated last game, except now Murder is on the defensive end here with his uh, expansion. And now he pulls almost all of his SCVs off of his main to head to the expansion. And now Murder is left to defend this expansion on his last hopes of winning. And uh, yeah, Huck's not being shy. He's charging right in there. He has his units attacking. Jeez, these Z-Lots are just completely wrecking the SCVs. And all the Marauders go down except for one. And really, Murder is going to have to GG here sorely. There's just no way he's going to hold this off. We are going to go to a Game 3. I hope you folks enjoyed.